Well, I can't foresee circumstances where uh, SNP MPs would vote for Article 50 being triggered, given that Scotland voted so overwhelmingly to remain in the European Union. But what's absolutely imperative is that the UK government takes the opportunity of the court decision last week to actually set out what its negotiating strategy is. I'm absolutely clear in my mind that we need to be aiming to keep the UK in the single market and we'll seek to build alliances across the House of Commons to try to build a majority for remaining in the single market and I've already said that we'll also bring forward proposals that would allow Scotland to stay in the single market even if the rest of the UK is leaving. It's hugely frustrating. I mean, a week ago today, uh, I was, uh, a couple of weeks ago, I was in Downing Street having a meeting with the, the Prime Minister with the other devolved administrations. And I came out of that meeting uh, knowing no more about the UK's negotiating position than I knew before I went into to that meeting. Uh, and people want to know what is it that the UK government is trying to achieve Continued silence or vagueness or a reluctance to answer questions is just no longer good enough in my view.